Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize, we have a very hard time with the YouTube broadcast, and you keep trying, trying, it doesn't go, and finally it worked. Uh, so, peace of Christ to all, happy Easter, uh, he is risen, and today we are going to show you how Muslims they try to refute Christian friends. Uh, before we start, there's a person in the chat, his name is Imam Mura. How are you doing, Imam Mura? Uh, you said you wanted to give you biography of Imam Mura. Why you don't call me so we can laugh at you? Secondly, uh, just to show you how stupid you are, like the rest of those who have a big mouth. In Arabic, if there is no tashkil, you can use it. You can read it murra, and you can read it murra, and you can read it farra, and you are stupid like your prophet. Your prophet, he said, your prophet, not me, that Allah needed as is requested to send the Quran in seven time which means you need seven words in every word in the Quran so you understand the Quran or you can read it correctly so if you are making fun or trying to be funny stupid well the funny is a God who cannot make his book clear unless it is written seven times and he is speaking about the Muslims, that Muslims are not capable of reading this book. Seven times. So the funny you, because you are bankrupt. I mean, look at the story there. All the garbage we are reading there, and this is the, the, this is the problem for you now. It's Murrah or Murra. <laughs> this is Tashkir, you idiot. But we have a big problem here. That there is a God, his book, cannot be received, cannot be understood, cannot be taken. Muslims are not capable. Who is the one who's saying that? Your prophet. Unless it's sent in seven way of writing. Seven way, why? Read carefully, this is your prophet saying that when Allah has sent him a book, supposedly with an angel, his name is Jibreel. So what he said to him? My people are not capable of doing it. Now call me and I will show you the biography of Imam Mura. And everybody will laugh at you. Do you dare? Call me. You said you want the biography of Imam Mura. This will show that Muslims are a bunch of idiots. Do not know their, their, who is their scholars. And either people laugh at me or laugh at you. Do you want to do that? There's no Imam Mura. You never heard of somebody who is not Imam Mura. <laughs> and the funny uh, the Muslims in order to focus in the disaster in their religion they try to make it about me let us say for the sake of argument Christian prince he did read mistakenly uh, okay your prophet did not even know how to read you donkey hmm? but I did not and this is why you and the coward who told you, maybe this is Fifi, why you don't dare to call me? And you know what? You have supposedly a lot of error against me. Why you don't dare to call me? And let us go one by one. Everybody either will laugh at me or will laugh at you. But the coward, he don't dare to do it because he's a coward. Like he's a prophet. Correct, guys? If those people they have already, the guys he said like him, this guy, and the funny, this guy he's saying to, to, to his followers, uh, why you are watching uh, Christian Prince uh, videos? You idiot, you made a hundred video of me, and yet you want people not to watch my videos? For sure they will come and watch, and more people will leave Islam. Because simply everybody is laughing at your videos, and here I show the proof, and you don't dare to call me. So why you don't dare to call me? And all those, and look, look, from all the Muhammadan who claim to be Sunni, who is the one that calling us? Ultimate far to don't believe in Sunnah. Uh. All right, guys. Am I heard? Am I heard? I lost connection for a second. This is what my software is showing me. I hope you will not lose connection. So those those kids, you know, uh, when w w they they make a claim. And they say there is a guy, they knew him, he is a Christian. Uh, he, they brought a guy, his name is what? I forgot his name. Whatever his name, anyway. 
with beard he says oh this guy i know him he's a christian he called a christian prince and he claimed to be a muslim okay as long as you know him you know his school you know where he lives he is your friend and you talk to him always why you don't go and record him by video and pause the video in youtube and let everybody laugh at him i made a challenge if this is true make it until now nothing happened because both of them they are a fraud if you know the guy who claimed to be christian who called me and he's a Pakistani like you or wherever from he is, is from he you know you meet him in school every day you see him every day you know where he live you know his name why you don't go or record him and get him busted for me i like to get busted anyone is a liar because if he's a christian he's no christian if he's calling me playing to be muslim he's no christian so look what they did they fabricated a lie to reduce the numbers of those who they are leaving islam in this program claiming that one of the callers he was a christian but when we challenged him to go and record the guy nothing happened why because simply they are a fraud afzal afzal yeah his name is afzal did i made a video challenging him and look look how sure we are that we they are a fraud we are sure to the point we said to them go and record the guy who you know his name you know his address you know for people leaving islam every day and today is no different i'm going to open my skype for muslims to call me and muslims only please if anyone dare to call we will see now we go back to uh, uh, here we have some muslims trying to refute us and the guy his name is Mora. how are you Mora? brother Mora. please uh, give me a call uh, brother Mora. your prophet even he lost his fourth tooth in the front or some they say in uh, uh, all of them and uh, imam Mora. Uh, show us the title imam where was written before the word Mora. Ah, so if it is not saying Imam, so we cannot say before Murrah. Well, you stupid idiot. All the tafsir says, Ibn Abbas said, nobody say Imam. Everybody says Musnad uh, Ahmad, like uh, Ahmad. Not, not always they say Imam. When they say uh, 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 the Caliphate, they don't say Imam. Is, 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 uh, is Umar an Imam? Yes, he is. The Caliphate, he is the highest Imam, actually, of the, of the nation. But you don't say Imam before uh, before uh, uh, Omar, do you? Do you say Imam before Ibn Abbas? You don't. You're you're stupid. You're just a so guys. If it doesn't say Imam, so we will not accept it. So it, it have to say Imam. Okay, no problem. Now let us see here some answers from a Muslim who is trying to refute us. <clears throat> and I will open my Skype soon after we read those comments. See, I have a problem with my internet. If you notice, the comment is not even loading. I have to refresh the page again. Let us see. Okay. Let us see where this Muslim <coughs> comment. Very depressed nation who have no idea what they are worshiping all right a guy he called himself michael and even muslims today when they go in the internet to refute a christian they use a christian names you know they are they are not really too much proud about muhammad and ahmed so he called himself michael wellington okay nice to meet you michael okay allah came read carefully Allah comes from the word Al Ilah. Okay. Now, by saying that, you're just out of Islam. Why? Because Allah, if He is, it's a word mean Al Ilah, which means the God, will mean your Shahada is a stupid. Because when you say there is no God but God, that is the most stupid thing ever. Because which one is the God now? There's no God but God? You see, I'm going with their stupidity. If the Shahada is saying, if Allah is a word, mean God. Okay. And then you say Shahada. Okay, what the Shahada is? There's no zucchini but zucchini. So do we have zucchini or we don't have zucchini? And if we have zucchini, which one? Hmm. 
Do you see the stupidity? Now let us go to the, uh, uh, the yellow pages of Muhammad, just to show how, how, uh, how much this thing stands. Actually, not even one Muslim, by the way. I mean, any Muslim will have little knowledge. You can ask Imam Murrah if you want. Imam Murrah will explain to you, uh, or Imam Fifi, that anyone who believes that Allah is just a word, mean God is a stupid, literally. Let us see. When Allah became a tree, and he spoke from the tree, what Allah he said, I'm going to read your Quran, your yellow pages of Muhammad. Let us see what it says. Read with me, idiot. Read with me, idiot. Allah spoke from the tree, saying, from the tree, read carefully, in the Hollywood ground, saying, O Moses, verily I am Allah, the God of the world. So if the if the word Allah is God, I am God, the God of the world. No, this is a name. This is why you Muslim didn't translate it. Otherwise, you should write here the word God. You don't write the word Allah. If this is the word God, then you write God. You don't put Allah, why you are putting Allah? Stupidity is amazing. And here again, who is a Muslim scholar agree with those donkeys who say Allah is not a name? Zero. You will not find one scholar agree. Right? Who is Imam Murrah at the time of Hafs? My friend, uh, do I know who is Imam Murrah at the time of Hafs? You tell me. You Muslims, you write things. Do you know who is Hafs? Do you know who is Hafs? You don't know. Somebody told you Hafs is etc. 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 But do you know him? No. Who is Muhammad in the time of Muhammad? Nobody knows. Because there is no way that Muhammad is exist with the name Muhammad. Muhammad is Ab Ibn Abdullah. Yeah, well, there is no there is no way the father of Muhammad, his name is Abdullah, but yet he doesn't worship Allah and he will go to hell. So who was Imam Murrah? You tell me. Who is Imam Muhammad? Who you, uh, you tell me? Who is Fatima? If, uh, Fatima is not the daughter. Okay, when you say Fatima, Fatima been to who? Been to Muhammad, daughter of Muhammad. But we do not know who is Muhammad. Do you have anything in the Quran? It says to you who is Muhammad? No. Nowhere. What his father? What his mother name? Where he is born? Where he died? Nothing in the Quran. Okay, Moses in the Quran. Who is Moses? Does it say who is Moses? No. You know what? Israel. If we search in the Quran, we will find the name Israel. Who is Israel? Huh? Have you ever heard of a stupid book mentioned the word Israel tons of times, but yet he don't tell us who is this guy? His name is Israel. Who is Israel? So when you ask a question asking me to give you uh, the identification of a Muslim uh, names, all the names in the books and Islamic names, they mean nothing to me. If we go right now, we open anything, you know, Mujahid, who is Mujahid? All the names, they mean nothing. So it's very silly of you to say, uh, can you tell me who is this guy? You, you know nothing, any, you know nothing about any of your scholars. And when we present to you something you know about your scholar that Hafs was a fraud, you focus in the Imam Murrah and you say this is a wrong reading. Okay, but Hafs, let us say this is true, but Hafs is a fraud. And this is written in your books. And the Quran in front of us is given to you from Hafs. And this is the whole, uh, the, the whole trial here, trying to divert the attention from the horrible writing you have about the one who gave you the Quran, which his name is Hafs, to make it about who is this Mura? Because simply you have no answer. However, uh, you can call me right now. You know what? I will open Skype just for you. And you, I want you to ask me the same question, who is Imam Mura? If I did not answer, people will laugh either at you or at me. Is that fair, guys? There is people, their name is Imam Murrah, and you know, listen carefully. At the time of Hafs, 
at the time of Hafs. I mean, look how donkey you are. So you want somebody in the time of Hafs to speak about Hafs? What about people after? <coughs> I'm so glad you did not say before Hafs. At the time of Hafs. So any, any murrah after Hafs, he's not, he don't count for you. He have to be in the time of Hafs. <laughs> Let us open sky for colors so we can have some fun. In the time of Hafs, if you give me a name not in the time of Hafs, I don't accept it. Ah. Okay, Abdul, my Skype is open. Call me, brother. Hmm? In the time of Hafs, brother. If you don't give it to me in the time of Hafs, I don't accept. I'm going to create one for you in the time of Hafs, don't worry. What an idiot. <clears throat> uh, the one whose name Christian Prince. You want to use the F word and you put it next to my name? Get you know, get out of here. Anyone will use a bad language. We will ban you. We will not respect you, and we will spit at you. Do you understand? If you are a street boy, go where you belong. If your mama did not teach you how to speak, go to your mama. Because obviously she is not a good mama. Anyone will use the word, the F word in the chat, get out of here. Filthy people, low, uh, trashy, low class. They can't even keep their mouth shut with with, the, with, with nice words. Okay, we have a, we have Abdul. Hello. Hello. Is your daddy here? You gonna run again? Ah, here we go. Ultimate fart. How are you, Ultimate fart? Ultimate daddy, we started the debate. You 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 hug up with me because you asked me a question. If I believe in every. In every interpretation, I used to, in every uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, in every tafsir. Are you serious? What 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 is that? What, what this guy is saying? Listen, 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 listen. Do you believe? Do you believe? Let us take it. Let us take it one by one. Abdul, Abdul. Radio station. Abdul, Abdul. Do you believe in the hadith of your prophet? Yes or no? I said there's no. Allah said Allahu nazzal ahsan al hadith. Don't, this is not the question. Don't, you don't speak Arabic. Why you are making yourself I, 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 I know Arabic? Why you are answering me in a language you do not know how to say? I'm asking you. Do you understand? Do you accept the hate? Either you say yes or you say no. I said I believe only in the Quran. Do I have a right to? This is not the question. Do you believe? Do you believe in Hold on. Do you believe in the hate or not? Do you believe in Talmud? I don't believe. I only believe in the in the Quran. Mm, okay. Why do you have a problem with that? Hold on. Oh, okay, guys. He believe only in the Quran. So when I asked you about the heaven, how many level do you, it is? You said to me it is one hundred level. You get this this from where? I said it could be. No, 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 no. Are you? Are you? A no, no. Don't tell me. No, no, no. You should. You said you did not say. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. You, you were, you were sure that the heaven is not one level. You said to me the heaven is not one level. You were sure. Not could be. It's there. It's recorded. It's, it's recorded. I said. I repeat what I said. I said it's like a building with one hundred. Yes. Does it say that heaven is a building? But you did not heaven say, is. so don't lie, you say it no, could be. No, you, did, you did not say it, it could be. Did you, did you say it could be or so you did then, not so, say? So then why is it hold on. Like did you it say, did you say, building. okay, okay, you said, yeah, guys, okay, I will go, I will go with you. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. You said it is like 100 floor. Where we can find this answer I said from? It's like a building with one, I said a building with 100 floors. No problem, guys. Okay, no problem. Like okay, I, I will repeat what you said. Hold on, hold on, potato. That's why I said 100. 
Potato, okay. You, you guys, you heard him? You, you, you heard him? Okay, you heard him? He said, it like, like a, a second, a second, just 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 a second, shut up, shut up, shut up. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said a building like 100 floor, where do you get this information from? For you to just okay, where do you get the example from? Where do you get the example from, you idiot? Are you a prophet? How you make an example? It is not true. Either, 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 either you are okay. You okay? One hundred level. Where you got it? No problem. Where you got? Where you got? Where it? What? If Allah say levels, I can think of a building if I want to. Where Allah? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You say you say to me like a building and one hundred floor. Where do you get this from? This one I'm asking you for. Or the, very simple. I said, I said, Allah said levels. <laughs> Allah said there's a high heaven. What level? A low heaven. There's a high and a low. Okay, but okay, but he's okay. Hold on, hold on. No, your God Allah. He said okay. seven heavens. He but said, he, he, hold on, shut, shut up, be. shut up, Let's shut up. Come on. Coward, 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 I want you to give me, I want you to give me the reference that it is 100 floor. All what I am asking you, first of all, where do you get the number 100? And where do you get the floor from? And where do you get the building? The mic is yours. I said it's like a building. No problem, no problem. Where do you get it from? Where you got, where you get from? Give me reference, give me reference. It is a building, guys. It's like a building. It is 100 floor. In a high heaven. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, your no, your God. He said, your God. He said it is seven. Your God. He said it is seven skies. Okay, hold on, hold on. Did Allah? Did Allah? Okay, hold on. I want you. I want to show me. Okay, okay, hold on. Did Allah? He will change. He will change the. He, he will change the topic. You see the potato. You see the potato. He will change the topic. Now, why you change the topic? Let us finish it. Okay. Did, did Allah? Did, did Allah? Did, did Allah say it is seven heavens? Yes or no? Did I start talking about John? Did you? Potato, get lost. You don't accept the hadith, you coward, huh? But you want to answer me from the hadith, and that's why you want to change the topic. You see those filthy? They accept no hadith. Then in order to say something, to prove me something, or to say to me something, they use hadith. And when we get them busted with it, they say, oh, I did not say that. Well, I'm asking you, it is 100 floor. From where you get from? This is from the hadith. Not only from the hadith, it is in the hadith, exactly as he mentioned. Yeah, but what are you are calling? Abu. Hello. Why are you are calling Abu? You are the same as Ultimate Fort. You don't accept scholars, you don't accept anybody. So what we will do with you Muslims? You have your own new religion now. This is a new religion. Hello. Hello. Yes. Why are you are calling me? You don't accept the scholars, you don't accept interpretation, do you, you don't accept the hadith. Do you wait, accept wait, wait, wait. what do you accept? Hang up. Before you hang up. What do you accept? What do, you, what do you accept? What do you accept to discuss? What is your religion? I accept the Quran and the Hadith. You accept the Hadith. Okay, so you are saying to me that you, a person, accept the Hadith. Is that is that fair, guys? Did you accept the Hadith? Did he say that? Yes. Okay, are you sure? I'm sure. Now let's talk okay. about the word Allah. Okay, no, before we go and talk about the word Allah, huh? As long as Allah is not a name for you. No, 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 I will make you, I will make you, I will make you, I will make you a winner. I will make you a winner. You see, because next time you call me, you will say, I don't accept hadith. So now you said you accept hadith. Let us go over it. Now, as long as you accept hadith, if the hadith is against the Quran, do you take the hadith or the Quran? If the hadith is what? If the hadith is against the Quran, which one you take? Then it's not a hadith. So what it's is either daif or um, false? 
Okay. Okay. In the Quran, you do muta. The Hadith says don't do muta. Which one we follow? Uh, the Quran. Well, first of all, that's not what I'm calling you for. I know, I know, but I'm just to show. No, no, no. Let us finish it because in a second you will switch. In a second you will say no. We follow Hadith now. Because you see? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Please. We will go. We will go. Talk. I promise you. We will talk about Allah. Now. Which one you follow, the Quran or the Hadith? Quran says you do muta. Hadith says don't do muta no more. Which one you follow? I'm not well versed in that. Topic, then shut up so and I'm don't call me. He is not well versed. You are. Well, if this is if this is something simple about having sex, renting women for sex, you do not know about it. And now you became expert in language and Allah and etc. Get lost. I mean, can I get can I get somebody who's an adult so you, you to talk to me? Can I can I get an adult to talk to me? He is not well versed, and now if I, I spank him, they will say, "Okay, he's talking to somebody who is not well versed." Those who call a Christian prince, according to, as we heard, they are n n not well versed. So, so where are they, the one who uh, well versed? <laughs> Can't we get one? Hello. <laughs> I am not well versed. Just to show you the hypocrisy. When they want, they accept the hadith. If the hadith is embarrassing, they don't want the hadith. Or if the hadith is against the Quran, we don't accept it. And then they go by the hadith against the Quran. The biggest nation of hypocrisy is the one is called Islams and Muslims. Do you accept or do you not accept? If the hadith brother is against the Quran brother, we don't take the hadith brother. Uh, the, well, the whole Quran is there's tons of verses in the Quran are deleted by the hadith, which means the hadith is total contradiction to them. And you follow the hadith. This is how hypocrite they are. You cannot debate such a kind of people because those people they are moody. When water is good. It is hot, uh, we use water. When water is bad, we don't like water. Either you like water or you don't like water. Very, very sneaky, trashy. No dignity. No loyalty to the religion. They are willing to deny the basic of Islam just to make a point. And just to show you, we go back to the comment as long as we don't have a real Muslim to call us. Allah come from the word Al Ilah. Maybe this is the same guy. Maybe it, maybe this is him. Abu, I don't know. Because sound like stupid like him. Come from the word Al Ilah. That's mean your God have no name. If Allah is a word mean God, that's mean you Muslims again worshiping unknown God. Who is he? Who is this Al God? Huh? Who is this God? So when you say there's okay, if we make the shahada now according to this answer here, we will make it in the screen. I will I will write the shahada. There is no God but God. So everybody will laugh and die laughing. So which God you worship now? No, as as long as you say it, that Allah is a word mean God. Okay, no problem. No God, but God, have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this before? But the Muslims, they don't say no God but God. They say no God but Allah. Why? Because Allah is a name. And because we prove that Allah is a name of the satanic God, now they are ashamed of it. They want to make it just a word mean God. They don't want it no more. And then if we continue, and by the way, always they give you things, they throw it in your face without proof or anything. And not even a single Muslim, if you go right now and, and search in, in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. Is Allah is a name of, all, of the God of Islam? All the Muslims agree, yes, it's a name. Suddenly it's a name. Right, because it's embarrassing. Okay, let us continue more. Uh, 
uh, here this Abdul is saying why Egyptian Middle Eastern Christians say they call their God Allah because they are under the Islamic occupation give them freedom they will stop speaking Arabic and they will uh, throw the word Allah in the garbage 1400 years of Isis rule if Isis rule you for a, for a, for a day you will you will change the name of your God to Satan and this is wrong for sure this is this is this is a false word uh, no Christian should pray to God using such a word I understand that they are under the occupation but this is garbage and if you say in the Arabic Bible it's written the word Allah that is a false translation the same as your translation to the, to the Quran you use the word Jesus but we cannot find the word Jesus in one place in the Quran it is Isa in the Quran how are you making Jesus it's the same false translation all right now here this guy he said just to show you the stupidity of those people regarding verse 34 44 if you remember we said that the Quran say that uh, uh, Abraham he came as a messenger to Mecca did he say that yes okay and not only that he's a messenger in Mecca he's a messenger and his son is a messenger both of them they are prophets and what they did both of them they came to Mecca and build the, they built the Kaaba okay wonderful so it's confirmed from the Quran from the yellow pages of Muhammad that Ishmael and Abraham they raised the, 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 the Kaaba uh, just gave us a name of father of Imam Abu Murrah who commented about uh, <laughs> you want his father <laughs> just to show you uh, Imam Murrah how stupid you are Imam Hafs your Imam Hafs do you know who is his father you will see if you go read you will see even he have two names three names sometimes they have four names because his mother was a whore like her prophet so she kept jumping from a man to a man so Hafs they call him Ibn Asim but in fact he is not Ibn Asim for Asim was just a stepfather but he's a man already so his mother she was a bad woman she kept jumping from a man to a man and then this guy he have many father names so why you don't ask about Hafs who is his father real father hmm? give us the name of the father of Murrah if we can't find the name of your prophet father then we can answer that nobody knows who is the father of Muhammad he was born four years according to Islamic books after his father death have you ever heard of a child belonged to a man he was born four years after his father dying so who is the father of Muhammad you tell me help me I'm, I'm waiting for you according to me is what Abu Nufal according to you Abdullah but Abdullah he died four years after so imagine you you divorce your wife four years after and this is more horrible than divorce because the guy he died four years after she call you oh honey come to the hospital pay for the bill what bill Oh, I just gave birth to a child. He's your son, you idiot. I divorced you four years ago. And this is why the Muslims believe that a woman, she can carry a child from the previous husband and give the delivery between four years to nine years. Some of them even, they say 10. And I can show you the reference right now. Right now in the screen. If I go right now, hold on. Give me a second. As long as you mention this. I will type in Google the period of women getting breath net according to Islam and I will show you an Islamic website fatwa official scholars not potato tomato like those guys who call me here here we go everybody will die laughing in a second people rock with me I will put for you on the screen you will not believe it how garbage this cult is this is the website of islam su'al wa jawab which means a question and answer for by the scholars you see you see the name and the sheikh is muhammad salih al-munjid one of the highest sheikhs in saudi arabia the top the name of the article or the question 
what is the longest period for a woman to be pregnant in uh, 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 you know like to be to to carry a child fatwa number one four zero one zero three for those who do not know what fatwa mean uh, you know it is uh, like a holy answer you know like according to allah uh, so the guy is asking i did read in the fatwa number one two zero one seven eight and this is an, uh, about how the woman she can be carrying a child from like a, uh, from a, from a man uh, and he is saying that this is cannot be true i mean obviously this is very weird what what you are saying there so here they are going to answer him you know what i'm going just to show you i'm going to go, do google translate google translate i have nothing to do with it in front of your eyes and this is the answer click Ah, translate to Indonesian. We want uh, uh, English. Hold on. <clears throat> now the answer is Indonesian. Let us go with Indonesian. <laughs> People who speak Indonesian, you will die laughing. Some of them, they say a woman, she can be pregnant for three years. Some, they say four. Some, they say seven. Some, they say ten. This is the Muslim opinion, according to Allah. Let us go to English. I will switch to English. I mean, have you ever heard stupid religion like this before and this is why they don't want their scholars but their scholars is going by the book where is the english hold on <clears throat> translate to english read with me can please <clears throat> in the top the longest time for a woman to be pregnant and this is the answer Question number or fatwa number one four zero one zero three. All right. Now the answer here. Praise be to Allah. Firstly, when a Muslim he say firstly, it means the poopoo is coming. The issue of the longest period of women pregnancy and the issue of the of this agreement in Islamic among scholars. This agreement against Islamic scholars. I mean, even this one need this agreement. Yes, even this one need this agreement. Okay, the doctors of Islam, what they said? What they said? Let us see. The maximum, this is the opinion number one. All right? Saying, usually, this is the answer, but this is not, but, but this is not a scholar answer. But read carefully. As for Islamic scholar, they differed. As the maximum length of time of a woman who is a bright net to say. Here they say number one, nine months. Number two. The maximum period one year and this is the opinion of but doesn't say here imam muhammad ibn al-hakim they don't say imam so we don't we don't accept him according to imam murra <laughs> then two years other opinion two years other opinion three years and this is the saying of Laith ibn sa'd who is Laith ibn sa'd you tell me his father is sa'd his name is Laith. who is he i don't know but it doesn't say imam then four years which is the view of shafi'i and hanbali this is half of the muslims the muslim sunni are four sect and those are more than the half of them shafi'i and hanbali they believe that the women she can deliver a child after divorce or her husband death four years after And the most famous of two saying is the Malikis who is left five years is hold on five years is narration narration of Imam Malik here we go are you happy now there's Imam before Malik five years five years are we done no six years it's like an auction honest to God this is an auction Are we done? No. Seven years. Are we done? No. And there is no limit for the most. No limit. There is no limit. Some Muslim scholars, they say there's no limit, which means you divorce your wife 20 years ago, and then she call you and say, oh, I got a child from you.
And you are asking me why I believe that this is the religion of, of madness? Look at them. This is why they don't want the scholars no more. Those are their highest, those are the ones who, who established Islam and now garbage because obviously it's a garbage. So why they don't want scholars? Because scholars will make Islam exposed. Why don't want the hadith? Because Muhammad is a donkey, a certified donkey, not only donkey. Actually, he don't even deserve a certificate of a donkey. He's not even a mule. When we show them that the Prophet says, whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the father, they will say, we don't accept this hadith. And this website is owned by who? Christian Prince? Madness. Ah, we lost connection. We might lose connection for a minute, or you know, just have uh, you know too many people using the internet now because of this Quran virus. All right. So Al Hanafi is two years. Hmm. Al Layth ibn Sa'd three years. Al Shafi'i and Al Hanbali, four years. Imam Malik, five years. Al Zuhri and Malik, six years. Who is Malik? Here, see, he doesn't say doesn't say Imam here. Which, which Malik? Because who is Al Zuhri? They will say, well, give us the name of the father of the Zuhri now. <laughs> How we will know even who is your father, Muslims, if you are a person believe that four years after your wife she is divorced, she has given you a birth. Or seven years after. There is no way to know the father of anyone in Islam. <clears throat> right? <laughs> now we go back to our our comment here just for fun here he go down and he say just to show you the stupidity of those people how far they are in their ignorance he said in chapter 34 verse number 44 it's not talking about Ibrahim or his son it is called the disbelievers God caught them as they lie about the truth okay so, just read verse number 34, 44, okay, and? What is this? How Allah, he say, there's nobody before Muhammad came as a warner to Mecca in this verse. This is the question. He's talking to disbelievers. We know he's talking to disbelievers. Nobody believes in Muhammad until he starts killing them all. He caught to them the lie about the truth, the messenger in his book, and his sign of a prophet, the sign of a prophethood like what? You guys, when a Muslim, he say the sign of a prophethood like what? He have a mole in his back. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? That the guy, he have a mole in his back. This is the sign of a prophethood. What is the sign of a prophethood? Having sex with the children? Or somebody controlling him by black magic? Or taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage? Is that what make him a sign of a prophethood? Or people asking him for a miracle, he says, uh, Allah refraining from sending miracles? Signs of a prophethood, like what? Like he make him... Oh, now it's coming back. I was going to say, we, we better go. Finally, it came back. But I don't know if we will lose the game. Am I heard, guys, now? Am I heard now? Give me one, please, if you are... No, because you know, uh, sometimes too many people using the internet, especially now in because of Corona, everybody's home, and uh, the area we are here, obviously.
they don't give you like uh, your your internet only you like the cable is sharing with all the neighbors hood so when many people are using the same uh, uh, cable or let's say the same uh, connection the the speed uh, always our our download speed is high but our upload speed can go really down to zero sometime and that's what we need we need the upload speed not the download speed anyway so look at this guy he's saying to us 3443 is about Muhammad uh, uh, not about Abraham no, no problem you see you're not even listening but then how you say in the Quran that Abraham was there in the Kaaba and he is the one actually he built the Kaaba if Muhammad was the first one to come as a warner for those Arab Abraham was who then that's mean the story of Abraham is a lie and not only that his son Ishmael and according to Islam Abraham and his son Ishmael they are prophet okay Ishmael was a prophet to who the Muslim themselves they claim that Ishmael he is the the grand 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 grandfather of Muhammad which is a big fat lie okay so according to you the Arab are coming from Ishmael or Muhammad at least is coming from Ishmael okay Ishmael was a prophet in Mecca prophet to who look what the Muslim will say to you this is the smartest answer they can get they say it's possibly brother that he is talking in his time no problem let us go with him in his time guys in his time there's no messenger came to them before you in his time you eat it so what you say before you <laughs> and not only that not only it says before you it says messenger who pass away before you just to show you how much Muhammad is suffering right now in his grave because he don't have smart followers who can defend him big mouth they, they scream too much but they say nothing they talk too much I am a warner oh I am a warner okay but what kind of a warner you are I hope you will be able to finish read carefully it says we did not send them a warner comes before thee before thee does it say before thee so when you say to me oh he's talking about in his time but in the verse it says before thee it, it, I mean either you are stupid or Allah do not know how to speak Arabic but to be considered a prophet to deliver a message every generation but how many years between Abraham and Ishmael and Muhammad your God don't do that he don't send in every generation every 10 years he send a new prophet according to your cult so it says we never send him a messenger a warner before thee before whatever before is he didn't say in the time of thee do you see it so it's very embarrassing it's very stupid Muhammad he talked too much he do popo each time he talk he do popo Imam Murrah Pupu. it's mean no prophet was born before them here we go look at this uh, smart Muslim this is a smart Muslim is giving us an answer hold on let me show you the answer so all of you can enjoy the wisdom read with me carefully what our friend here Muhammad and he said Let me wait for you on the screen. I will zoom in. Uh, it means there are no prophet born among those bef people before Muhammad. I mean, guys, do you anyone see? It says no one is born. So who is Ishmael? 
if Ishmael is the first prophet, is he is the grandfather of Muhammad? He is not born from there, no. Is he? So obviously the story of Ishmael is a lie. Ishmael never been there. By saying your statement now, this is garbage because simply the Quran never says nobody was born before him. It says we never send him, send them. Why you are fabricating your own meaning? And not only that, in the Quran, there is many names of a prophet. Supposedly they are born and they live in Arabia. If I ask you who is Saleh, tell me who is Prophet Saleh. Right? Who is Adu wa Thamud? Stupidity. You Muslim, you don't know your, your book. So according to Islamic religion, there's many messengers. They came to Arabia. Now, it says here, no warner has come before thee. Now we have that Ishmael and Abraham, they were in Mecca. We have that the Muslim believe that Ishmael is the grandfather of Muhammad, so they cannot say he is not one of them. Correct? Because this is how blood lineage work. The Muslim, they claim that they are Abrahamic. They claim that Muhammad himself is from Ishmael. So you cannot say that Ishmael, Ishmael is not from the Arab, but the Arab are from Ishmael. That would not make sense. He is their grandfather, according to your, your belief. Muhammad himself is coming from Ishmael, according to you. No messenger came before thee. And not only that, just to show you, in different verse in the Quran, the Quran go more in stupidity. Muhammad was a messenger for who? The Muslim, they say, to all mankind. Hmm. Read the Quran with me. Read and love. And this is a book which we send down bringing blessing and confirming revelation which come before it. Confirming the Bible, you believe it? Yes. Hmm. That though mayst warn the mother of cities, doesn't say mother of cities, it says mother of the villages, and all around it, which one? Mecca. Around it. Muhammad is not an international prophet, but in this stage, Muhammad is trying to be a prophet in that area. He never thought it was going to be successful to be international. His business was not yet in the stock market. A small village, it's called Mecca, and what is around it, not the matter of the city of translation, even Arabic, it says Ummul Qura. Qura in Arabic, Qarya, mean a village. So Muhammad was a messenger to who? To Mecca and what around it. But Ishmael was there. Abraham was there. Right? You don't want to talk to an old sick man? I am an old sick man. Why? Are you a six years old girl like Aisha and you're afraid I'm going to put you in my lap like Muhammad? Get out of here. Talking about old sick man. First, you do not know how old I am. Secondly, let us say I'm old and let us say I'm sick. And what does that have to do with the topic? Your prophet, he died. He was old and he was sick and he died by poison. So you are you you will not talk to your prophet now? You could do that, you know? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Because what we show them is very embarrassing, they, sh they start giving us all like a garbage. What is the answer? This is cl clearly a book of contradiction. Nothing there can function. This is, this is th nothing there in this book can function. Name for me one statement in, in this book can be taken into consider consideration. And uh, I don't want to forget the title of the video says. Uh, I, I don't know, I think he deleted that comment because I was looking for it, I could not find it. He said to me, how you be disrespectful for somebody he teach call for love? I, I didn't see the comment anymore. Where is the comment? He deleted, I think. Where is the comment? 
It's gone. I don't see it. Ultimate thought, he used uh, female names to call me. Sometimes he called himself Zainab, sometimes he called himself a, a princess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened, but you know what? You took it off. Maybe, let us see, to be sure, maybe I, I, I missed it. In the comment. Okay. Uh, where is the comment of this guy? He took it off. Yeah, he took it off. But guess what? I always usually, I, I take into consideration that the Muslims, the second they see me get attention to their text, they uh, they will delete it. So I took a snapshot. Uh, let us see. I think I took a snapshot for his message. Because always I say, you know, I will answer you. Uh, let us see this one. Not this one. Maybe this one. Not this one. Yeah, yeah. See? I think he deleted. I can't find it, but I have it here in snapshot. Hmm. Look what he said to me. I cannot understand. I cannot understand. Oh, this is in the same uh, place. Okay, I, I miss it. It's there actually. Actually, it's there. Yeah. Uh, I cannot understand that how somebody, how can, be, so disrespectful to a person who called to love. The people you love to. What, what, what? Look, look at the deception. He called to love the people you love to. Let us go back. I'm trying to find where is this comment. Yeah, he deleted. Yeah, it's gone. I'm not wrong. Yeah. Read carefully, guys. Muhammad, he called for love. Love who? People you love to. What does that mean? I mean, look at the stupidity. He called for you to love people you love to. Do you see the super intellect in the answer? If you are a person, you love them already. What do you mean he called you to love those who you love them? Hashish, hashish. I cannot understand. How you can be disrespectful to a person? Okay, what this person do? Listen carefully. Super intellect, high IQ, who calls to love who? To love the people you love to? Anyone understand what this garbage mean? If you love them already, so he's asking you to love those who you love? Now, as long you are talking about love and love too, well, Muhammad he says, kill the Christians, kill the Jews. Muhammad he says, I want you, I want to, uh, uh, yeah, princes want to debate. This is ultimate fault. He called himself princes. <laughs> All right. Yesterday he called himself Zainab. Zainab will be to Jahsh. He liked to be. This guy, obviously, he's not a man. We chat with men using female names. Um, any Muslim?
Let us see. Where Muhammad he said, love your enemy. No, Muhammad he said, love the one you love. That's amazing. Muhammad even he said, you cannot. You cannot love those who they are your family. Your father, your daughter, your son, if they are opposing Allah and his messenger. Uh, our internet is coming up and down. Do we have any Muslim? Someone is asking me about the, or saying, making a statement about the, again, ultimate fault. Hello? Hello? Yes? Oh, how are you? I'm fine. Why are you calling yourself Arabian princess if you are a man? Oh, no, because you are the princess. You are the, you, are, you became a princess now? Okay. Why are you are calling yourself a princess? Are you a princess now? Because you are the princess. I have to be like you, right? I don't understand what? I have to be like you because you are a princess. But my name is not a princess. But you are the one. Okay, you have to be. You, you like to be like me, so you think I am a female, so you decide to cut your private part and you decide oh. to be like me now? No, why, why you call yourself a princess? Why you call yourself a princess if you are a man? No, no. Okay, okay, listen, listen. Okay. No, no, why, why? I want to know. Tell me the truth, please. Why you call yourself a princess if you are a man? Because you, because you hide yourself, yes, you have, you have uh, a new cob, you hide yourself, you know, like a hijab, a new cob, you're, you're a princess because you hide yourself. Ah, okay. So I, if you if you hide yourself, that means you are a princess. Okay, that means Allah is a princess because Allah He said He He never spoke. Hold on, you are the one who said that, not me. You are you just you just you just told us that Allah is a female because Allah. Hold on, does it say does it does it say in the Quran? You said to me, I speak from behind hijab. Does it say in the Quran that Allah He never spoke except from behind hijab? Yes or no? I'm asking you, does it say in the Quran that Allah never spoke unless he is behind the hijab? Chapter 42, verse number 51. Yes or no? Not hijab, yes, princess. What? Veil. What, what? You cannot translate Arabic to English, you're princess. What my friend, my friend, let th 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 us see who is the princess. You are the one who said... Wait, he means you? Huh? Prophet means you? What? Prophet Muhammad, your prophet. Huh? Yes. He married a woman. Her last name is Donkey. And his last name is Dogs. Muhammad himself, his last name is Dogs. So why you are calling me Donkey? If Donkey... If you call me Donkey. You call me Donkey. But you're a prophet. He married a woman. Her last name is Donkey. He did not make you. He did not make you. Okay. He did not make you. Thank God he did not meet me. Because if I, if he meet me, I, I, I will make him the joke of everybody. But I'm not, I'm not wasting my time. I'm doing it. So now... Why you are saying things you don't dare to discuss? You mentioned the word hijab. Here we go. Allah Himself is wearing hijab. Allah Himself is speaking from behind. I want you to tell me why Allah speaks from behind the hijab. 
What? Okay, 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 okay. Why you open a topic if you cannot finish it? Listen, I'm I'm trying to talk. Okay. Princess, princess, please. You know, are you are you single, princess? Because there is many male Muslims here. They are listening to your voice and they are excited. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Speak like a man, then. Okay, I'm speaking. But I'm speaking like you. You have to be like you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know when you uh, try to make your great, uh, debut in Speaker's Corner and then you got exposed by... The I don't machine. understand you. Speak speak remember? louder, please. I don't understand anything. Spe speak louder, please. Oh, my. Do you, uh, do you remember in Speaker's Corner hmm. when you went there to Speaker's Corner and hmm. you tried to debate in person, hmm. but it was just a great fail? Do you remember? I went to a Speaker Corner. D did you record me in the video? Uh, yes, you're on video on Speaker's Corner. Okay, can you pause the video?